Yo, what up everybody, it's Andrew Venus here, back with another episode from POL Game Review and of course POL Music. I am back here with more Retro Spawn figures. So without further ado, let's get into another episode of Retro Spawn Action Figure Collecting from the years 1994 to 1996. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six packaged items to talk about, as well as a bonus at the end. We're going to discuss very quickly the Spawn collectible trading cards. So stick around, guys, because here we... All right, friends. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the collector's gift set. And this is Commando Spawn versus Violator. I don't know how many of you knew these existed. But this comes with an alternate paint variation. A variant of Commando Spawn in full black and green camo. And then you have a Violator figure in here, which is a super sized version of the original Violator figure from Series 1. And he is in a red and black color variation. This is so awesome. If you can see in the back here, you might not be able to see it, but in a previous episode, I suggest you check it out. We covered the other limited edition collector's gift set released at the same time, and it included Malbolgia and Medieval Spawn. And there was repaint variations of both of those in there as well. Here we have the collector's gift set of Commando Spawn versus Violator, and I really, really love it. Look how big that Violator is. Here's my violated Violator. Um, somebody, his arm was ripped off by an alien, and he's missing his horn. Look at the difference in size. Look at his jaw. This guy is huge in there. Huge! This is so sick. One of my favorite additions to my collect. I, I really want to let that Violator out of there. He's so big and I want to drop his jaw. See how his jaw's up and he's like, Arr. I want to put his jaw down. So he's like, oh! On the back, we'll see. Of course, there's no clip and collect, but there is Series 3 featured on the back, as well as Series 1 and 2, and Series 1 of Wetworks and Series 1 of Youngblood. Yes, they released these once Todd toys turn into McFarland toys. I don't think they have any collector sets like this when they were Todd toys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as of today, I have every action figure in Series 3, though I do have a variation of Cosmic Angela coming. I've got some great stuff here that I'm going to show you at the end of the episode. But I have all these. Yep, I have all of them, and we're going to talk about them right now. I think we should probably just get into uh, series three. So here we have the curse. This isn't just any version of the curse though. This is a rare black and silver variety. This is a variant, a paint variant of the curse from McFarland Toys in the year 1995. Let's see what the Clip and Collect has to say for the curse. The curse. The Curse is yet another enemy of Spawn, a self-proclaimed defender of the light. The Curse is the vigilante whose only purpose in life is to rid the world of all that he considers evil. Equipped with weapons of all designs, his favorite is the chainsaw-like cybernetic device that attaches to his right arm, which he controls with his thought patterns. Yes, the Curse, his original paint variation involves Shades of green for all of his armor. That's the one I used to have back in the day. Now we have black and silver or pewter model. Very nice. I will probably and most likely, in fact, I will have to get the other variants as well. But this is really cool to have. I love it. So next up, we have yet another rare paint variant. And this is Ninja Spawn. This is Ninja Spawn with his silver outfit. Now, this came out also in 1995. Ninja Spawn is part of Series 3. And if we read his clip and collect, it has this to say. 
Ninja Spawn. Many centuries ago, there lived a man in what is now Japan who suffered the same fate as Al Simmons. He too died and was sent back to Earth as a spawn. His costume mimics the uniforms worn by the warriors of the period. Trained in every martial arts method known, Ninja Spawn is a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and becomes lethal when handed a sword. Yes, the original outfit is more of your common spawn action figure coloring. But this here is a rare variant in the best of conditions. This I bought at Heroes Headquarters in Westminster, Colorado, as well as The Curse. If you want to get something that you don't have to worry about, something being shipped weird and broken, then you go to the Hero Headquarters. Now we should move on to... No, we should move on to Future Spawn. Here we have Future Spawn and a special box protective case. There is another variant of this, at least one, where all the red is black. All the maroon, the reddish maroon is black, and I want that one very much. This is Future Spawn, part machine, part human, all spawn from Series 3. The Clip and Collect has this to say. Future Spawn. Just as spawns have existed in the past, this spawn exists sometime in the distant future. As his enemies have evolved over the centuries, so has Spawn and his hardware. Having no arms or legs, Spawn's costume has replaced the void with cybernetic versions of his limbs. Even his main cannon is cybernetically fused through his chest, making him a walking arsenal. Yes. As I said before, this completes my collection of Series 3, at least for, you know, I have one of every one. Now what I need, and what I'm going to get, is Cybernetic Violator 2, because I have two variations of uh, Violator 2 that it doesn't have its cybernetic parts. I also have a version of Curse that I just showed you, but I need to get the original. There's also a White Redeemer. I need to get White Redeemer, I need to get Black future spawn. I already have two vertebrakers. There is another version of Cosmic Angel, at least one, and spawn two. I have not looked into the variations of yet. I hope there's some good variants. Right now I just have the original back there and I love future spawn. All right, all right, all right. Next up, we're gonna go for series four. And in series four, You've known in the past, if you watched my episodes, that I have She Spawn and Cygor. In fact, I have two variations of She Spawn. I have one variation of Cygor. It's the gold and black one. I need to have the purple and silver one as well as the white one. The Max I have coming soon and is the Max with white Isis or eyes or Isis or however you explain it. However you pronounce his little buddy in the back. The, the little guy back there, he's white and the different hair variation on the max. Exoskeleton spawn is what I have here though. That's right, and this is a variation. There are several variations of exoskeleton spawn. One of them has green bones that may or may not glow in the dark. This one has white everything, which is the one that I wanted as a kid. Oh, I remember seeing this. I oh, mm. It's so awesome. And so there's also a variant the normal variant, which is listed on the back here. Exoskeleton spawn. What I've learned recently is sometimes there's more than one featured character from outside of the spawn universe. In this set, we have the Max and also Shadowhawk. And that reminds me, if you go back, it turns out that Chapel was originally a Youngblood character and somehow that passed me by. I know he eventually comes into the Spawn universe, but here we have Exoskeleton Spawn with his white and gray speckled variation. Let's see what the back clip and collect has to say. Exoskeleton Spawn. Spawn disguises himself in this exoskeleton armor as a means to breach the territory of violators and other creatures of the Darklands. By camouflaging his appearance, Spawn can attack his enemies off guard while at the same time using parts of his costume as weapons of defense. 
Yes, I have at least two more of these to grab, but finally I have an exoskeleton spawn. I love this so much. All right, so last but not least, we have yet our third variation, our third variation of nuclear spawn. Okay, so technically, this is the second variation of nuclear spawn, though I have a third one coming. This is nuclear spawn with black tubing, and he's got green armor, a uh, fleshy red skin tone, he's got brown pants. This is the original that I had, which is also a repaint. Here we have green nuclear spawn, here we have red nuclear spawn. There are several variations. There's a one similar to this one, but different still that has yellow tubing and some a variety of colors in the clothing. So here we have two. We'll get close-ups of both of them. And for the last time, let's read Nuclear Spawn's Clip and Collect. Now in the back of this, we see that I only need Viking Spawn and Tremor 2, which are on their way, and then some color variations of the rest. The clip of Lex says, Nuclear Spawn. After being driven to the maze of sewers below the city, Spawn relies upon special machinery, which protects him from the chemicals that run rampant in his temporary home. The new breathing equipment allows Spawn to reside in this environment for prolonged periods of time, and the short-range weapon he carries provides much-needed protection in such closed quarters. Yes, this is from Series 5. We now have two variations of nuclear spawn, and we are growing ever closer to completion. So there's those two. And that ties it up for this episode. I appreciate y'all so much for sticking around till the end. If you liked it, please like and subscribe for new episodes every week. I drop new episodes every Thursday and Sunday, as well as extras, sometimes on Tuesday, sometimes on Friday or Saturday. You know, two to three new episodes a week. And we have a lot more coming. I like to talk about PlayStation 2 games, so don't forget to check out my PS2 gems and all my gameplay. And in the future, we have many more things to talk about Spawn-related, including Spawn trading cards from 1995. Yes, I have two sealed packages right here. I have some opened ones here that came from my past when I was a kid. Yes, this is how they look. You got a lot. They describe what comic book each character and each picture came from. There's Angela right there. What we're going to do is do two separate videos. One for each on opening of these. So we're going to talk about the cards a little bit. So nice. These came out in 1995. I love it. I love Spawn. Don't forget this new movie coming out very soon. As well as the Sam and Twitch series that they're working on. Shout out to Todd McFarlane and Spawn everything. Thanks so much for sticking around. And I will catch you in the next episode. Until then. I'll say. Push it. Yeah, you can get it tricked out. Take it round the block and all the ladies flip out. But it don't fly. So that it don't fly.